Hi everybody. So this evening I'm going to be using the Surface Pro 4 and I'm going to be pairing it with the iPega 9023 game controller. Now what I love about this controller, it's very versatile, it can hold you know, tablets as you can see by the size of this uh, extender here. It can hold like it can hold regular size uh, cell phones, it can hold even hold tablets. Um, and if you want, you can just use it as a regular controller um, and to con connect to PCs. So this can work on PCs, it can work on iOS devices like iPhones and iPads, and it can work on Android um, smartphones and tablets. So for today's video, I'm going to be using this PC tablet, which is the, one of the latest, hottest things on the market right now, called the Surface Pro 4 from Microsoft. So what I'm going to do is, first off, let me enable the Bluetooth on my Surface Pro 4. So we'll go here to Bluetooth, and I'm going to go to Bluetooth here, and it's looking for, so it's found the Surface Pen, which I have there. Now, right now it says the Surface Pen that's connected, I peg a game controller ready to appear, but I haven't turned this on yet. So what I have to do next is press the home and the E button. And the LED is flashing fast, so it's looking to pair. I press pair on the uh, on the, um, Surface Pro 4, and it's connected. And as proof that it's connected, I just start pressing buttons, and it's you see buttons come up there, right? Like it searches. Like this is like a search prompt. So if I press the B on here, it looks like the number three on the on the iPad on the Surface Pro 4. I press the A button, there's a two. X is 1, Y is 4. This analog, uh, when I turn it goes IGKL, uh, IGKL. And then when I press the shoulder buttons, I see a 6, and an 8. When I press these ones, I see a 5, and a 7. And then the D pad is D, S, A, W, just like on the keyboard, like right here. D, S, A, W. Okay. Um, and then you have this analog, left analog key, however. When you press it, you see number 9. So, it's paired and the server Pro 4 thinks it's speaking to a keyboard. Right, and that's exactly what we want. So now, I can then run a PC game, and then map these keys, uh, especially, hopefully, and what I love about PC games, most PC games today do have a key mapping function, because on PC, even back in the day, you know, most PC games are paired with a keyboard, right? So, let me run Grid. Um, I downloaded this game from the Steam Network. Uh, Anybody who's familiar with PC games would know that the Steam Network is the place to shop for on a uh, game that you can download immediately onto your PC. Okay. Let's press the start button that happens. Oh, wow. So the start button works. So look, look at that. No configuration whatsoever. So let's see if the keys are automatically uh, mapped well. I mean, I know that this key, this left analog key is because it does correspond to like the ASDW keys on a on a keyboard when you're playing games. But let's go straight to race day. Any of these buttons work? Let's press start. Um, yeah. Go to race. I just want to see if the default mapping are good enough. Okay, so so the left the left analog key is my throttle, my reverse, and my steering all in one. Which is pretty good. But if I wanted to... Whoa! Nice! Nice! Look at the doors all open. That's a 
price of first thing, Braves. So here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I paired the iPega 9023 gamepad with the Surface Pro 4, and I used the um, Home and A mode. Uh, because with this controller there's different modes like there's one mode to connect to iOS devices There's another mode to connect to Android devices and this mode um, the home button plus a uh, This is the keyboard mode, right? And that's great for P when you want to pair with a PC uh, Because you get games like this that you can just map the keys, but what I love about it the default key mappings Especially for this game. I don't have to, to do anything I can just use the left analog key for my accelerator, my reverse, and my steering. But if I want to map keys, I could do that. Let me show you how. Now in most PC games, there is usually an area in options or settings where you can set um, key mappings. So let's go to options. I'm just using the keyboard to navigate. Um, driving options, controls, and then you can at the bottom here you can go to preset or custom, which in this case I want to do. So I press custom. Okay, so what you do is then press the enter key. Now it's looking for an input, so I'm going to press. Let's go again. This. So that's I just map steer left, go down, steer right, looking for an input, go down, accelerate. I want this button, the A button to be on my accelerator. I press that, the number two comes up, because it thinks that A is number two, which is correct. Um, brake and reverse. You know what? I want to brake with the B button. There you go, number three. Uh, handbrake. Yeah, I love the handbrake. My handbrake is going to be this trigger button on the left. And gear up. Great, I want to gear up my button. I'm going to go manual. And gear down. Let's go X. And as you can see, all the buttons are mapped right there. Um, now, one other thing I want to use is an accelerator. Oh, accelerate. So let's press accelerate. Let's the button here. That's eight. And uh, if you have anything else, let's make sure steer left. Okay, we're good. So what I'm gonna do is to save this now. Let's see if I go down to the bottom. Press escape. Custom. Okay, so let's save this. Escape. So it's automatically saved. Now let's test to see if this works. Let's get back into the race. So let's go to. Go. Enter race day. Go to race. Now let's see what happens here. Now I'm accelerating with brake keys here. I'm going to accelerate with this button. Yep, yeah, see? So I'm accelerate is my right trigger button. I'm going to steer with my left analog enough and for me i like it when i use more buttons when i'm using driving games as opposed to having everything in one joystick it makes driving much easier oh sweet i've overtaken two cars already isn't that cool and that's my brake button So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I just demoed using the iPega 
9023 controller, paired it with the Service Pro 4, and then I just showed you what the default key mappings look like on a typical driving game like Grid, which I downloaded from the uh, Steam network. And then I actually went back in and customized what keys I want to use because what I love about the Apega is when you use the uh, when you start it and you press the home and A buttons, it goes into keyboard mode. So you know, like the oh there you go. PCs like the Service Pro 4, for example, would think that it's talking to the keyboard, and that's excellent because then I can run any PC game uh, that has like a key mapping option, and then I can just map the keys and then play the games. And as you can see, the game plays very well. My driving doesn't play doesn't my driving doesn't look very good, but <laughs> as you can see, it works well. So here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the iPega 9023 controller. It works with the Windows platform, as you can see here, Windows 10. Um, it works with the uh, iOS platforms, so Apple, like you know, iPhones, iPads, uh, as well as Android platforms, so Android tablets. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And uh, it works with you know Android smartphones and tablets. And what's good about this as well, it works on all those OSs, and it also has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just, you know, so you know, because of this telescopic piece in the middle, you can put tablets in here, um, you know, up to ten inches. Unfortunately, the Surface Pro four and the three is too big to fit in this thing um, in in as a landscape. But you can put the, these tablets, these large tablets, in, in portrait mode uh, because there's even a little clip at the bottom here which can support your device so it doesn't fall out. And because of the spring mechanism and the lock mechanism at the back. You know, secure, secure your tablet or smartphone in case when you're playing. And it has all the controls that you'll find on a typical uh, typical controller, just like your Xbox One controller, for example. As you can see, the similarities are there as far as the you know the analog nubs are there, the you know X B A Y buttons, the D pad, and your shoulder buttons are all there. You know, anything you find today in a typical uh, you know, this is the high end, so we would call a high end controller just like this Xbox One or the PS4 controller you can get in this uh, iPega. What's really good about the iPega as well is that it's very low cost. These actually retail for under 50 bucks, right? So, um, definitely if you're a gamer who likes to game on the go and you like multiple platforms, get this. Yeah. So, I will have a link at the bottom of this page where you can get this controller as well as the latest uh, Service Pro 4 tablet. Uh, with the uh, keyboard and stylus. And if you're interested in more about this uh, service Pro 4, I do have a video on this as well. So feel free, feel free to check it out. And also, um, you know, check out, check out my website or check it, you know, when you have some time. Uh, uh, www.redtechbot.com. There should be an icon on this video where you can see the actual uh, address of the website as well. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. Take care. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.